Hey guys, how are you today? So I've got my covers for my Journaling by Fives journal and I've got some book text and some sheet music. Um, these were from Happy Mail. I think the sheet music was from Victor. And a lot of you have gifted me with um, old book text, so I'm not sure which who gave this t these to me, but one of you did. And then I pulled a couple kinds of tissue out of my tissue stash. And let's grab some fluid matte medium, because I think we're going to use that. And we're going to cover our covers. Um, I'm going to do the front cover first. Let's see. Yeah, let me start with this one, I think. And I'm going to just collage some of these papers onto the cover. Pretty randomly, <clears throat> in no particular order, and in fact I might rip them up. I am going to do the front and the back side, and I will speed through it, and I'll be right back.
Okay, here is my completed Journaling by Fives journal. And wasn't that a big bundle of fun to make? So the one thing I do when I buy these Canson XL mixed media pads and I take them apart is I save the O-wire. And um, for a lot of different reasons, one of them being that if I want to put the journal back together, I've got the original O-wire and I, I don't have to dig through my stash to find one that's going to work. I do have a Zutter bind it all. I could reuse this to bind something else. Um, so that's another reason to save it. Um, you can, as, as you saw, just squeeze the rings back together again when you're rebinding your journal. If you have a Zutter, of course, you can use it. I wanted to show you guys that you didn't need to have that. This is an elastic hairband from the dollar store, and they're great for um, journal bands and um, keeping your journals closed, which I love, so I'm going to use that on this one. And we'll do a quick flip here. I have a box of these vintage Avery labels. I used one of them on the cover to title the cover, and don't you just love the way the cover? I think this is my favorite cover I did, I've ever done. I love the way it turned out. These are my pages, front and back. I'm so glad that I finally decided to finish it and get it all done. I tried to make sure that my pages were all <laughs> facing the right way. I had this I have this fear of having one of them be upside down. And I don't know that it's not. This is I'm flipping through it for the first time as you're seeing it here on camera. Hopefully they're all heads up and not upside down. <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out. The journaling by fives process is a really great freeing timed exercise really loosens you up a lot I, I and I love it for that not to mention the fact that you can use up a lot of small bits and pieces that you have in your stash and make something that's really pretty albeit sort of random but there's nothing wrong with that I really like the way it turned out I love this and you saw when I was doing the collage step that I had um, a word I'd cut out that said chicken lips, which I just think is hilarious. It didn't seem to fit in here, so I pulled out a different word. Um, I will be using it on something, but I thought chicken lips was just hilarious. And you see down here I missed a couple of pages, or one page, so I'm going to have to fix that. But otherwise, I love the way it turned out. I hope you enjoy the journaling by fives process as much as I do, and you have a lot of fun with it. Don't forget to go out today and do something nice for yourself, because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you.